my beautiful ladies. Nighttime is upon us and I'm so excited because I get to share a very intimate and private part of my life, which is my nighttime routine, high vibrational edition. So this is my high vibe nighttime routine. And the reason for that is because I've incorporated a lot of very personal spiritual aspects that really keep me centered, grounded, and with this constant sense of inner peace, regardless of whatever is happening in the outside world. And I've also been practicing a lot more spiritual discipline and being more committed to making time for spirit. And so this is why my meditation and my prayers and yoga and everything that I do, everything is rooted in really coming back home to myself and stilling my mind through meditation. It's a really big part of my life because through meditation is where we make that connection. You know, when we silence our mind, we're able to make that connection. And so I've been learning so much thanks to Paramahansa Yogananda on how to pray and everything. And I just wanted to share with you guys the aspects of self-care from caring for my hair and loving on my hair, caring for my skin and my body and appreciating my organs and my heart, my lungs, and just flex, you know, the flexibility from yoga, but also stilling the mind and the body so it's not restless and I'm able to go into a deep meditation. So I hope you guys enjoy my high vibrational nighttime routine. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Let's begin with my high vibe nighttime routine. I love to begin my nighttime routine with this ritual inspired by kundalini yoga. It's a ritual to care for my strengths or as they call it in the kundalini yoga community, your antennas because they're always receiving information also. The star of this ritual is of course the wooden brush itself because it does not create any static electricity. And remember, this natural healing process of your hair can be supported through this very simple act of care. Now, lastly, one of my favorite things that I've been doing also is just letting my hair grow naturally without frequent trimming as I used to do. I feel like embracing our hair's journey and honoring its natural growth pattern is so beautiful. And just like us, you know, our hair is also a unique expression of life. Now to maintain energetic balance and to support your magnetic field, this is something that I learned in Kundalini Yoga, is just to consider braiding your hair before sleeping. This gentle act can really help release any accumulated stress from the day and really promotes hair growth. And this is one of my favorite rituals to do at night because I also use this time to give some extra nourishment to my hair if I feel like it just needs a little bit more love. So I love using almond oil especially on my hair if I notice any split ends or it looks a little bit dehydrated you just really want to allow the oil to be fully absorbed overnight and that's why I like to braid it and it really just promotes healing and strength for the hair during the night our skin enters a natural repair and rejuvenation phase cellular turnover increases allowing the skin to heal and regenerate so by following a consistent nighttime skincare routine, you support this process, helping your skin recover from daily stressors like the toxins in the air, pollution, all that jazz, and maintain its youthful appearance. And as we know, one of the essential steps in a nighttime skincare routine is thoroughly removing all of our makeup and impurities because if we leave any makeup overnight, it can clog our pores, it's just going to lead to breakouts, our skin is going to look dull, and we definitely don't want that. So proper cleansing ensures that our skin can breathe and absorb the nourishing ingredients more effectively. So now beyond the physical benefits, of course, of a nighttime skincare routine, it's 
an opportunity for self-care for sure, you know, and just relaxation, which is what we all need these days. So just taking a moment each night to care for our skin is a way to show love to ourselves and also appreciate our beautiful skin. It's a chance to unwind from the day, pamper ourselves, and prepare for a restful night's sleep. Pretty often before bedtime, I love to practice yoga, especially now that I'm learning so much more about it. So after just a long and hectic day, our minds can often be filled with clutter and racing thoughts. So as we flow through the poses, we're releasing tension and mental chatter, creating space for a calm and clear mind. The sacred time on the mat really allows us to turn our attention inwards, letting go of distractions and becoming attuned to our inner self. And this inner stillness sets the stage for a profound meditation experience. And that is the point of yoga, uniting the mind and the body and the soul. For this video, I also wanted to share something so interesting that I've been experiencing and just experimenting with lately, and that's the use of a red light before bedtime just to improve my overall sleep. So I've done some research and it turns out that red light has some fantastic benefits for our sleep and our overall well-being. So our bodies have this internal clock called the circadian rhythm, which responds to light and darkness. Using a red light at night helps sync our circadian rhythm, making it easier to fall asleep and wake up at the right times. It's like a gentle signal to our body that it's time to wind down and get ready for a good night's sleep. I also want to share something that has brought immense meaning and fulfillment to my life, and that's the importance of having spiritual discipline and taking time each day and night to read spiritual books. Reading these books is like nourishment for my soul. It's not merely about acquiring knowledge, it's about connecting and understanding the deeper truths that reside within me. In times of uncertainty and doubt, spiritual discipline becomes my refuge. As I open these books, I am reminded of the eternal truths that transcend the transient nature of the world. So I invite all of you to embark on your own spiritual discipline, take time each day to read spiritual books, to embrace the wisdom of the ages and really nurture your soul. I promise you it will be a journey filled with growth, transformation and a deeper understanding of this beautiful life. Now, after studying, I end my night with 20 minutes of my non-negotiable meditation. The meditation really becomes a practice of embracing the moment fully and becoming the observer of my thoughts, my emotions, and sensation. Just noticing everything that is rising up to the surface without judging it and also separating myself from the stories that are always playing in my mind. And when my meditation comes to an end, I just gently bring my awareness back to the moment. I carry the peace, the insights, and the unity that I experience during this precious time of reflection.
Thank you for joining me on this intimate journey of spiritual discipline, meditation, self-care, and all of that jazz. If you found this experience resonant, I encourage you guys to explore the profound impact of reading spiritual books, integrating them into your nightly routine, really taking care of yourself and your needs in every level, mind, body, and soul. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and share it with those who might find it beneficial. And I can't wait to see you guys again in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a blessed and beautiful night and day.